Hey guys, it's Fluffy Cesar and welcome back to another video for you guys today. Today guys, we're going to be doing a troubleshooting video on how to fix your custom songs for Beat Saber in the latest update, version 1.11. Sadly, at the date of recording this, nothing new has come out for the Oculus Quest and BMBF. So today we're just going to be talking about PC Beat Saber. Good news with PC Beat Saber is a bunch of the mods are already back. Actually, a good majority of them are back and even better. We have some new mods that are already out that are working that were not working with the last update, one of which being Song Request, that's for streamers. Now it's actually built into Mod Assistant. You don't have to go out and get it manually, which is huge help for someone like me. But for you guys, let's get into some of the more casual stuff. To start off, if you just head into your Beat Saber without doing anything, you will be able to access custom songs and you might even be able to play a few, but you won't have any of the super cool mods working and ready to run and odds are you'll be super laggy once you get into some song parts. I experienced this, you can see on screen right now, I lagged out trying to play one of the songs before I went in and actually updated Mod Assistant. So how Mod Assistant works is it's basically a launcher for you to go and get your mods. So if you go there and you keep all your mods that you had prior, this will be a problem because your mods are now outdated. So what you have to do is head into Mod Assistant and actually uninstall every single one of the mods that is outdated. If you want to see a mod that's outdated, all you have to do is look at the little um, text right next to the mod. If it's red, that means it's outdated, so click uninstall and get to uninstalling all of those. Once you've uninstalled all of your mods, you can then head into your settings and then click open by your Beat Saber folder to open up your Beat Saber folder. Once you've done this, you can then search for old plugins for version 1.10 and delete that whole folder. You don't need that folder, just get rid of it, poof, into the bucket, throw it in the bin, gonzo. You can then head back to Mod Assistant, go into Intro, and then click I agree before starting to get the mods that you want. If you can't get a mod and it's blacked out, the reason for this is because the mod has not been updated into Mod Assistant yet, meaning you cannot click on it and install it through Mod Assistant because it doesn't have the latest version. For mods like this, you're going to have to go get them manually, which we will talk about in a second. But make sure you get all of the core mods if possible. Some of them might be blacked out, like for me, Song Core was blocked out. Don't worry about that for now, just get all the core mods that you can and all the other mods that you want. Now, open up Beat Saber and put on your headset. Once you get into game, before you click solo, check on the right and check if you can click more songs. If there's no more songs tab, then stay tuned for the video. But if there is a more songs tab, that's good. Head into solo, head into custom songs, check to see if your custom songs are there. If they are, grab one of your custom songs that either uses noodle extensions or mapping extensions and try playing that. If it works great, that's great. You can leave the video. You are good to go on your day and play Beat Saber. But if you're still having problems, let's go fix that now. So to start off, close down Beat Saber. Once Beat Saber is fully closed, head back into Mod Assistant and click install or update one more time just to get things all in there. And then you want to head to settings and then open up your Beat Saber file again. You're then going to want to head into plugins. Next, open a web browser of choice and search beatmods.com. Once you're on Beat Mods, you can then head into mods. Once in mods, make sure you're under game version 11 up in the top right. This is where you can manually get mods for Beat Saber for PC if Mod Assistant either doesn't have the mod or Mod Assistant is not working. There's going to be five different things you have to look for. Open up your Mod Assistant and head back into Mods. Once on Mod Assistant, you're going to want to go under the Core tab. Under the Core tab, you have BSIPA, Score Saver, Beat Saver Downloader, Beat Saver Voting, Camera Plus, and Song Core. Each one of those is very important for running custom songs. So if any one of those are blacked out for you and you weren't able to update them in the latest update, go on to Beat Mods and search them up in the top right. Once you search them, download the zip and then extract the zip on your desktop or wherever. 
for me, I'm just using WinRAR so I can drag and drop without even needing to extract. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna head into each of those zipped files and pull out the plugin from it. The plugin is super simple to find. It's just the name of the mod .dll. But once you have the mod file, all you have to do is head into your Beat Saber plugins folder and drag and drop the .dll into there. Odds are it will ask you to replace. Just click yes, do all the replacing, and then you will have the updated version of that mod. Once you have done this for all of your core mods that you couldn't get updated because they were blacked out in Mod Assistant, there's one more mod you need to do. This mod is very important if you didn't get more songs to pop up before you entered your game. So if Beat Saver isn't working and you can't get your songs and add them in game, you need to go get this. And that is Beat Saver Markup Language. For me, this was also blacked out, so I had to go get it on Beat Mods as well. Once again, search it like you did with the other ones, click download zip, and then take the .dll file and drag and drop it into your plugins folder. Once you have done this, head back into Mod Assistant and click install or update. Once you have done that, you should be able to open up Beat Saber and play all of your custom mods. Now we're gonna go over some other issues you might have had with Beat Saber when first updating to the latest update. One issue that my friend was having was that everything was black and white, there was no color on screen, and he couldn't click any of the buttons so he couldn't even play OST packs. To solve this problem, all you have to do is simply reinstall Beat Saber. It has nothing to do with mods, it's just a problem with Beat Saber, so just reinstall that and you will be good on that front. Even after getting your mods back up and running, if you head into one of your custom songs and you're experiencing lag or problems, sadly, you're probably going to have to delete that mod and then download it once again. This will erase all of your progress, but will clear up any problems that happened from carrying over from version 1.10 to version 1.11. Sometimes a mod will not update and also will not uninstall. To get around this, all you have to do is figure out what mod is causing that problem. It's, if you're having difficulties doing that, you can either join my Discord server or you can join the Beat Saber modding group Discord server. We will both be free to help you. Once you figure out what the mod is, you can then head into your Beat Saber plugins folder and delete the mod manually. This should clear up that problem. Of course, this is a simple troubleshooting video. There's definitely more troubleshooting you can do. And if you are still having problems, feel free to join my Discord or leave a comment down below. I will be Hawkeye watching the comment section. If you have any problems and you're trying to get custom songs to work and you're just not being able to do it, just leave a comment down below. I will help you out. And yeah, thank you guys for coming. If this helped, feel free to leave a like so that way more people can find this and get the help they need. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And if you have an Oculus Quest, as soon as a new update for BNBF comes out, I will, I will go over that and teach you guys how to install custom songs over on your Oculus Quest. So yeah, thank you guys for coming. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.